Have you been wondering what all these crazy interest rate hikes means to you and our economy that we're sitting right now? Well, the good news is, despite the slowdown in the economy, despite rising interest rates, our real estate market is still really hot, especially for sellers. If you've noticed that rental rates have gone up consistently over the last several months, they are now at five-year highs across most of these properties, some of which are up 20 to 30% more in rent than they were just this time last year. Well, right now, if you own a house, the average home value in Williston was $327,000. That's up 6.05% according to Crexy over the last year. And over the last two years, it's up 10.53%. If you take a look at over a three-year period, it's up over 13.74% since COVID. So despite falling home prices in many of these areas around the country, right here in the Williston Basin, we are looking at very good price appreciation. And right now we have more buyers in the market than we do sellers in inventory. If you take a look at the average sales price of all the properties that are on the market, and of course it's really tight, we have less than 80 listed properties currently. The average of those is $353,000. Over the last year, that's up 12%, if you could believe it, from just a year ago. Over the last three months, it's up over 6%. And the change over the last two years of the average house that's on the market is up over 9.47%. So what does that mean to you? There's less inventory coming on the market. There's less builders out there right now building because of the high cost of constructions and more importantly, the limited amount of labor in the construction trades out here. So looking forward, which direction is this economy gonna go and which direction is the housing market's gonna go? The average list price for all homes in Williston right now is $414,000, considerably less than the FHA loan limit, but that has priced a lot of folks out of the market with interest rates now over 7%. So what does that mean to you? Should you buy? Should you wait for prices to come down? Should you wait for interest rates to come down? There will always be a reason not to buy into real estate, but let me tell you the reasons why you should get in. Right now, despite high interest rates, we have a surging economy here. Oil prices are pushing $90 a barrel again. There's really good renewed interest in the oil field. The rest of the economy around the country is slowing down and we're starting to get more attention from outside investors. The other thing, does it make sense to stay in an apartment right now that may be up 20 to 30% more in rental prices than it was just you know, 12 or 18 months ago? Or do you wanna actually own your own property? So if you're on the sidelines right now wondering is now the right time to buy? Let me give you the top three reasons why right now may be the perfect time to buy. First of all, if you're worried about interest rates as many people are right now, there's a chance and a really good chance that interest rates will gonna continue to rise in the future. They are now at a 20 year high recently. So you think about that, in the last two decades, interest rates are higher now than they have been in any time in the last 20 years and they're predicted to go up when the Fed meets again in uh, October or at November at the latest. Why? Because we still have inflationary pressure. Where is inflation coming from? Realistically, it's because the government keeps spending all this money, the cost of goods and oil continue to increase, and when was the last time that anything that you're buying on a monthly basis went down? It just hasn't happened. So because of that, because of the inflationary pressure, and there were some really good statistics that came out last week about unemployment and uh, the CPI index and some of these other uh, measures that the Fed is analyzing closely are not headed in our favor. And many of the experts are now predicting that interest rates will go up in the future. So if you're waiting for interest rates to go down before you lock in, we're here to tell you that interest rates will not go down for a long period of time anytime soon. They did go down last week temporarily, but we believe there's gonna be a lot of pressure on interest rates going back up. Secondly, the average price of homes hitting the market has never been higher in Williston. It's over $400,000 for the average price of home, and the houses that are on the market, that number has increased by up to 20% over the last two years and almost 25% since COVID. The average house that's on the market that you have the ability to buy has never been higher 
especially on a per foot basis. So it may not feel like the right time to buy, but our recommendation is if you can qualify and if you can make that payment on your mortgage at a comfortable level, now is the time to lock into these prices before they continue to go up, lock into an interest rates before that rises, and you can always refinance later once you get into that house and if interest rates do drop, which many people are predicting interest rates will start falling conveniently coming up on the election cycle next November. So if you have any questions on that, we'd be happy to help you over at Proven Realty where we can use our experience to give you the best service to give you the results that you deserve.